एवं मित्रगिला प्रविष्टम विष्णु का पाष्टोत्तर सत्सत्य श्रीमान भक्ति वेदांत श्रीलारायण को श्री महाराज जी के अवर चरण अनंत कोटि शास्त्रांग धन्यवाद ज्ञापन तत्पश्चात नित्य लीला प्रविष्ट विष्णु अष्टोतर श्री श्रीमान भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज एवं सन्यासी बिंद मातृबिंद गुरुपद संध्या बिंद The words of Bhagavatam to you. Yesterday I told you the story of the appearance and birth of Shri Goswami Pad. And also how I also present to you how the Bhagavatam manifests in this world yesterday. Actually, this Srimad Bhagavatam is directly the form of God. And especially the conversation between When Parikit Maharaj knew he was cursed, got to know that he was cursed, he sent this sent this information message to in all directions everywhere, and those who he invited and also he just had not invited everybody who got to know that he was like cursed and was going to die, you know. Everyone manifesting the assembly of Parikit Maharaj, Karmi Gani Yogis, etc. All kinds of people they came, they were present in the, that assembly of Parikit Maharaj. The contents of this uh, Rikata, this place where this assembly was going on, the place is Sukkartal, Sukhtal. It's a very beautiful place in, on the bank of the Ganga. Yesterday I told you there are three elevations. One was in Samak Prayas, the, the bank of River Saraswati, the Kasaram, the, where there was the Bias and Sambad, I mean, three places of the Bhagavatam, which the Bhagavatam was spoken, which was very important. Second elevation is in the bank of the Ganga, in this place called Sukartali. Sukhtali. It was a conversation between Sukadev and Parikit Maharaj. Third one was in the Gomati Nadi, on the bank of the river Gomati, in the Namisharyana. It was Sutta Goswami who was speaking to the Shonaka Adirishi, Ms. Rishi is headed by Shonaka Rishi. So this selector. Sutta Goswami told it to, to, to the, um, so the she's headed by Sonaka. You are very fortunate, it's all like this. You are very fortunate because how much beautiful is the nectar and kata of Lord. The Jeeves in this world, they like to listen about material things. But Nobody has, not everyone has the desire to listen about God. Very fortunate people. They, they want to listen. 
Oh, I want to listen to the spotless character of Lord, his stories, his activities. I want to listen. He told to the Shonaka Dirishin and to the oh, Rishis. Whatever I did when I was with my Gurudev, I sat near the feet of my Gurudev and I was hearing that Harikata that he spoke from Shukadev Goswami. You know? So, this Harikata I listened from my Guru, I will tell you. Sutta Goswami told to Rishis headed by Shonaka Rishi. So that Harikata, the Sutta Goswami, that Bhagavad, that Bhagavad Kata, that Sutta Goswami listening in the assembly of Parikit Maharaj, when Shukadev Goswami was speaking the Harikata, that Harikata, Sutta Goswami wrote, uh, uh, sorry, heard with so much att atten attention in the Shastra, it is explained that we should listen from the Guru's mouth. If you, if you, hadn't, if you haven't listened from Guru's mouth, actually you cannot there's not uh, uh, glory in that Harikata because the instruction of the Guru, guru the sound of that Guru emanates from his mouth is Shabda Brahma, means transcendental sound. So the potency of the Shabda Brahma, if the potency of the Shabda Brahma, Guru Dev gives mercy and he, he manifests everything in the heart of the disciple. Sinagasisa means when the disciple is very affectionate and simple and has a complete pure and clean heart with one pointed faith and also at Seva Vritti, so then this is serve and serve and has one pointed respect and also a worship, it has, in, it sees the Guru as like a worshipful deity like this. So in this kind of disciple's heart, the Guru manifests everything to this kind of disciple. We can see this in Chitan Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He gave all the wealth of his heart. Rupa Mahaprabhu manifested all the wealth of his heart in the heart of Rupa Goswami. In the disappearance day of Rupa Goswami, the uh, um, scholar persons and the very intelligent persons, Panditas, they were listening and uh, explaining this Harikata. Also, Gurudeva, Shri Gurudeva used to stay in the first sloka of the Bhagavatam. Actually, this is also speaking because this is focused for Krishna, but also you can speak about like as it was for Mahaprabhu, first sloka of Bhagavatam. That Mahaprabhu, because you know this first sloka of Bhagavatam. Adi Kavai. What do you mean? The first poet. Who is the first poet? Adi Kavai. Generally said like Brahmaji, but Gurudev said, Who is the first poet? Adi Kavi? It's actually Rupa Goswami Pan. From his heart, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself, Mahaprabhu manifests all the bhavas in the heart of Rupa Goswami. This all is very. Very like um, confidential things, you know, in according to the time. I will present this to you because this Kata of the Guru Varga, this is Shabda Brahma, this is not a song. And if you listen to this and speak this, kid, glorify this, then you have the Atma Baal, the strength of your soul, comes some strength. So, yesterday. I, told, I briefly told the story of Ajami. How is the influence of Namas and the power of Namas In the ancient time, in this dish, Pranikubja dish, there is a very Brahman with so much wealth and all the qualities also. He, had, he was. He knew all the shastras. He was a Brahmin, named Ajamin. He used to serve his father and also to uh, respect all the Brahmins. And also, he used to follow all the activities of the Brahmins, like the shloka explains. This, this six, six, six kind of activities that uh, Brahmanas do. He's explaining this. Jajan, 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 Jaj
They, they take donation, also they give donation. They study the Shastra, they also they teach the Shastra and also they like do the, the puja and also like teach others, like also do for the others. So like... He, went, he, he used to go to the fire sacrifice with the guy and all and then he went to the jungle to get dry wood for the fire sacrifice. But he saw one prostitute. And like this in mind he was contaminated. And so suddenly he saw one one prostitute. So he was seeing this person doing like physical things, bad things, you know. And then he saw this man get, got contaminated. So this was the Asat Sangha. The Asat Sangha, uh, Asat Sangha no, bad association, is very powerful. Then because of this, Ajami, he gave up his ch chaste wife. And also, he gave up. He gave up his um, sons, like mo wife, mother for everyone, and went to the jungle city with this prostitute and was like drinking and stealing. He said, I told you all this. And from the womb, in the womb of the prostitute, he made ten sons. And the last son, which name he gave to the last son? Did he give? Do you remember? Not I. He, the, the other nine sons did not give any name related to Lord, to God. But the last son, he, how did he give this name? Not I. But if he was against Lord, how did he give this name of Lord to the last son? So I told you also this yesterday. That story that Shila Janardhan Goswami Maharaj, which is a very Antaranga Pashida, intimate society of Shila Bhaktisiddhanta Prabhupada, that story he used to tell about this. The, actually, this thing of because they got the association of Master Rishi, and then the Lama Rishi gave the name to the son Narayan. Yes, I told this. And Jami, he had one gone somewhere to steal, and that same night, that that uh, uh, wife prostitute, prostitute that was like well, his wife, he had the baby, and by this God like a um, occasion, uh, like a um, uh, our eh? say it like this, randomly that sad was there by this of God, and then. Then the, his wife woke up the next day and, and saw the Santa Mahatma the saint and like this head, she asked the saint to give some sa, to, to give some Swastivachan, some blessing. And he, they, he saw to give the Swastivachan and gave the name to the baby Nara. Actually, Ajamelu did not give Ajamelu did not give his, this name. It was the saint who gave this name. Actually, how you should give you? Actually, who, who should give you the name to your sons and daughters? Is the Santa Mahatma, the Sadhu, should give the name to your babies. In Shastra it said, the Jeev, there are ten kinds of samskaras to the, for the Jeeves. If the Jeeves don't do this ten samskaras after the death, Devi Durga, Mahamaya, with she, she has ten kinds of what? Weapons in her. Have you seen no, the, fo the photo? Of this Maya, Durga Maya. Now it's coming the I don't know festival. Durga something, some puja is coming after one month. There will be the Durga puja. Sariwali, whatever name you call her. So she she has ten ten weapons in her in her ten arms. So if the, those human beings don't do the ten ten samskaras after the death. This Mahamaya Devi, she okay. So she will chastise those who are not following the ten samskaras. So the ten samskaras, the samskar. What is it? Untim samskar, less samskar. 
Dhe zosë dhe bivacëm s'ka dhe merit Ose dhe në më karën Lekojnë një për të nejmë dhe vejvi Sa me një ka dhe s'ka 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 So she punishes with her 10 arms, uh, 10 weapons, do she come and the 10 samskaras after that. So her, his wife, wife of Jamal said, the Santa Mahatma gave to her son this name Narayana. But Jamal could not even listen to his name. She said two times. But I said, what? Which name? What? Because from mouth of the, the puppies, the first two, oh, sorry, the the sinners cannot even speak Bhagavana, Bhagavad name and also not sit in front of Sadhu to listen Harikata. But when Lomasri the saint said, Look, I gave your son the name. Narayan. This was a Shabda Brahma that came in the year of Ajamil. And at that, mark, that time he said, Oh, Narayan. Arachares, Vishnach Kavatipad, he wrote. From that day, from that moment, from that moment, that Ajamil, he. He spoke this name, Narayan. He spoke this name, Narayan, of his son. At this moment, all his sins were destroyed. Already destroyed all his sins. If you, if, if you take Harinam from Guru, all your sins are destroyed. Avidya, Asmita, Ragadesh, Avidya, Ignorance, Desire for a uh, seed of, of sin, even the desire for doing the sin, all this ignorance. All this is destroyed. The, the, the sins that we will still find the next lives, and we will find this life, everything is destroyed. Parabda, parabda, parabda. This is the glory of the Holy Name. If you, if you have uh, um, doubts, you say, well, Maharaj, my Parabda Karma is destroyed. But this body is the fruit of my Parabda Karma, so how can I still continue living? How can I? So, because Bhagavan is very much from. And to develop, increase our utkanta means our eagerness, and to also mature our bhajan, to mature our bhajan, Bhagavan, he, our karma from previous life. Little bit like one, two drops he gives, you know. This little bit he keeps. This example is like, like there is a, a land and you, and you put some 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 wheat to grow. Okay, this 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 is the extension of the field that depends on then how much wheat will be able to come. Okay, so you so you okay you plant like, like one area of the wheat. And then what happens? The wheat comes, and then you you like with the, this wheat you go and sell in the market like this. But you keep some seeds, like one or two kuntals, for the next year. So how much you kept for the seeds in the next year? Only one quintal, this one quantity of sweet seeds. What's the? Uh, so you just kept one or two, one or two quintals of seeds, but they, like you planted much more. But then it, after you like took the wheat no, from the field like this, then so if you chant Holy Names one time, all your sins are destroyed. There's not any pub. No sin, parabda no parabda. Bhagavan to keep this body, to this budget, to develop your utkanta. He gives a little bit, one or two like seeds, or one or two little bit of your karma. And why? To increase your, your eagerness and to make your humble also. If you, if like some suffering comes to your body and problems, then you like call to Lord, you know? That's why it is said. In happiness, nobody does the bhajan, but in unhappiness, in suffering, then you remember to Lord. When you'll be remembered to Lord in suffering times? The verse. Thing. So, Bhagavan, like an oil, gives this some suffering, some karma, so that we become humble. Oh, oh, oh shame on me, I never do any bhajan. I had so much power, but seeing them suffering like this. But actually, 
all the sins of the person has already been have already been destroyed. Shlomo Tzadok gives another example, like like if if you if you there is a like a rope, and you put you put a, like a kerosene kerosene in this rope, and then you burn you burn this rope, then the rope will be burned. But, but you still be able to see after burning, you still be able to see like the shape of the rope which was there before. So at the moment you took the, the, the Nama and Mantra from the Sadguru, Gunafed Guru, everything's already destroyed, all your karma and all. Even if one time you speak the name of the Lord. Can it? So you say, oh, but I took Harina, but I did not chant the holy name. If you say this, so what is Siddhanta according to this? It is said. There is also not there is fault, but Bhagavan's very mercy, fault. So birth after birth of Bhagavan, you try to bring him, you to him. Like the example, you open you open a bank account and you put hundred rupees in your deposit, hundred rupees in a bank account. And every month you have to to give. You give, you have to deposit 100 rupees, but you did not deposit more. But that 100 rupees at one time you deposited in the bank, they are never going vain, they not, never disappear, you know, to always be there for you, you know. So at the same time, one time you speak the name of God, Bhagavan says, this person is mine, I'll take him to me, I'll take this person to me. Bhagavan says, Karmi again, they fall down, they are destroyed. But the Bhagavan says, My devotees, they never fall down. If son devoted with bhakti, one time he remembers the lotus feet of the Lord. Only they remember enough. Remember the lotus feet of the Lord. All this karma, lots of karma destroyed. But, but Lord's name, Lord's kata, Lord's form and sweet, sweetness is so amazing and beautiful. Our charis, our charis, they explain this. Ajamil. From that day, he took his, he gave this name to his son, or spoke this name. Everything was already like all these things destroyed. If you say, then why again and again he was still continuing doing this thing? He he did not give up this like. I bet it's like what he was doing before. So in this context, Arushila Vishnachikavati Pad, he also explained one logic. So, so for example, there is one very poisonous snake. Suppose there is a very poisonous snake. And if if you, if you take out his, his, his uh, you know, those teeth, where the teeth of the snake, where they put the, the venom, you know, fangs, I think the name. No, there's some that's you know teeth of the snake where they bite on two sides of the snake they have one kind of teeth very sharp that there's this like uh, you know this thing part of the body creates the venom and when they bite that venom comes to the victim you know in in mixing the blood of the victim and like this the the victim dies like this so but if this one person takes the snake and then takes out removes this stiff the stiff which the venom is there you know then have you seen then maybe that like the, the snake will be like even maybe bite you again like bite this person again but nothing will happen because actually this teeth where there's a poison already were removed you know this fangs so the, so in the same way, but still the, the, this, the serpent, the, the snake will try to bite, but there's no venom actually there. So from, from this like habit of the karma, what he was doing. He continued doing, but actually when there was the... 
to, but actually the person maybe he'll continue doing things according to the habit but actually when he gets the, according to the time he gets the sadhu sangha a prop, proper then he'll give up all this bad thing so in the Gita Bhagavan says give his promise if a person very very dura child he's very bad person evil person like a very bad behaviored person not dura child so dura child very bad behavior very bad behavior person and but he doesn't this person doesn't do any other budget only mine but still according to sobhav nature from previous lives maybe the person still do some bad things do karma bad things so so you tell you tell that this person is a sadhu or not not bhagavan says yes this person should be seen as a sadhu this is my opinion this person is a sadhu if you say this, the person is a sadhu, you are wrong. Why? Like if you say this person is not a sadhu, you are wrong. Because actually this person has, has taken shelter of me, exclusively shelter of me. And oh Arjuna, you, you promise that my devotee will never perish, Bhagavan says. Quickly, quickly, this person. I will purify this person. I will purify him. And I'll take him to my lap. Just like one baby, a child. In the lap of the mother, she stools and passes in it in the lap of the mother. And what does the mother do? Again, clean, clean the baby from all the stool and all the thing. And again, takes it takes the baby in the lap. So worship anyone else is what I can't take back. The means one point the devotee, my devotee. If this person only come, takes out of my feet, I will purify him, purify this person. Come. And I will take him on my lap. So this looks like, keep from Bhavati Dharma. You make a promise, Arjun, that my devotee will never perish, never fall down. But God says, if I make a vow, a promise, maybe, I may be not be able to fulfill my words, my promises. We say the Mahabharata is an example of this, you know? Like Durjadan and Arjun. To both of them. Inside, you know, to their party of the water. This one story of the Mahabharata, I'll tell you briefly. But what did Bhagavan say? You, but actually, I'll not do anything. I'll not do anything in the world because if I, each party I am not problem because actually I'll not take any weapon in the war. Krishna says, like I'll be, I'll not do anything in the world. But Shakuni is also very clever. Shakuni is thinking like this. Anyway, we should try to put Krishna on our side. Then Krishna said to Durjana, go. And up and down to your side. I want you to Prabhu up just in your side. Time to take Krishna to your side. Then, then Krishna was waking up early in the morning. Then Krishna said, I will wake up early in the morning. First person I see the face, this person, I will join his side in the water. In the water, sorry, in the war. Then, but when God sleeps, you know. But Jogamaya yeah. arranges, then he was like, Then there was a beautiful a throne made of gold just near his head, near head of Krishna, where he was sleeping, you know. And a very, like, a worn out and very big, ugly like a, a chair near his feet, you know, very, like, a ugly, like, not nice chair. First, Durjadana came, Durjadana is very, uh, like, pride, you know, person, very pride. Pride, and then people who have pride, I'll sit near his feet. And also, this chair is so, like, chair is, uh, like, a broken chair, like this. So, where did he sit? He sat near uh, Krishna's head, that beautiful wooden throne. And Arjun, he came later and he sat near the feet of the Krishna on that uh, broken chair and then Bhagavan opened, woke up, opened his eyes when you wake up you look first in the front or to the side 
No, so first you look to the Arjun. When did you come, Arjun? Then Arjun said, I came before, but I said, Krishna said, but I told yesterday that I would be, I would, the, first, the first person which I look in the morning, that person would help in the war. Okay, then. So, so if you came to ask something, I will give you something, not go empty-handed. So Krishna said, I gave you my word, Krishna told to Durjadan. I told the vow that the first person I seen early in the morning will help this person in the war. But look, Durjadan, you came also, no? So I will not fight, Krishna said, I will not fight. But no, you do not go empty-handed. So I have my army, Narayani Sena. So you can take my army. Well, a person without desire who doesn't want to fight, not fight, so what do you do in the war? Narayana was thinking. So yeah, I got so much better thing. I got the Narayana Sena, this army. So she came, he can, uh, Duryodhana came to his uncle. Mama Sri, oh my uncle. This uh, Krishna is like useless. He's not do anything. He'll not take any weapon. He'll not fight. What is the war? But I, I got one Akshani. I mean, one I don't know, very big, big army. Narayan Sen. But Shapani said, "You're foolish, Duryodhan. What did you do?" What I mean to say is, when Bhishma Pitamana got this news that Bhagavan will not use any weapon in the world. Bhishma Pitamaha, even he made a vow. Bhishma Pitamaha made a vow. If I'm Ganga Putra, son of Ganga, I will make Krishna use a weapon in his hand. Like, use a weapon in the war. I'll make, I'll make Krishna do that. So the war was going on. Arjun was in the Kuruketra fight, war. And also Bhishma Pitamaha, they were fighting, you know, battle. Between Arjun and Bhishma, and Krishna was like taking, um, riding the chariot of Arjun. And Bhishma Pitama, he had Ichamritu, he had his benediction. Nobody can kill him. He will only keep, die when he wants. Ichamritu means he only he, when he dies, then he will give up his body. So from the first day and until the tenth day of the war, he was the biggest general commander of the war. Who could defeat him? But Pitamaha, he, he was such a. In Bhagavatam also explains that Bhishma Pitamaha is very skillful, like Bhishma Bhagavatam. Parikit Maharaj himself, I mean, sorry, Swami Pitamaha. Shukadeva Goswami Pan. I'm sorry, Pitam. Parikit Maharaj told to Shukadeva Goswami in Shamad Bhagavatam. My grandfather Arjun. I would, please tell me how my grandfather defeated everyone in the war. Please tell me how my grandfather defeated everyone in the war. Parikit Maharaj asked this to Shukadeva Goswami. So, Bhishma Pitamaha, he was also, also very good like, uh, in shooting arrows. Actually, Arjuna could not save himself, but uh, as like Krishna was like um, riding the chariot of Arjuna, he could like uh, deviate and and sometimes Krishna would put the, the chariot very up and then this arrow would hit Krishna's chest, like not hitting Arjuna but hitting Krishna. This, this the arrow of uh, Bhishma Pitamaha. Had hit the, the chest of Krishna, and there was a mark of blood, very a red mark of blood in chest of Krishna. And also, Bhishma Tamaha made a prayer to this after this, and he saw these marks in the chest of Krishna. Bhishma Tamaha said, Look, this is your chest, oh Krishna, this red, red blood this is not blood. Actually, in the Navana, with the gopis, we're doing very uh, lovely with love pastime and uh, loving pastimes in the Kunjas with, with the Krishna and the chest of the gopis. They are like with the kumkum, there's a vermilion, and because you stay.
ಭಾಗ ಬಂದು he took the chariot he took the wheel of the chariot and he went he started running in, in, the, in the direction of Bhishma Pitamaha and then Arjuna took the uh, caught hold of Krishna's feet Prabhu you made the vow a promise that you not hold any weapon in the water of Kukhetra it was enough then when Bhagavan took, took the wheel of the chariot and was running to kill Bhishma Pitamaha and Bhishma Pitamaha He, he gave up his bow and arrow. That my devotee will never be destroyed. If one devotee takes shelter of my feet and one time, one time, chance for the name of the Lord. So everything full of saliva and also uh, mosquitoes and also flies because he was everything full of of stool and urine and vomit, you know, there's nobody nearby. Who knows where the wife was? There was no one near him. Very bad smell. The rule of this material world is like this. In time of happiness, everybody is with you, but in time of suffering, everybody... moment what did you see three jamadutas like speaking like this ha, 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 approaching him there's also the explanation how are the jamadutas their, their hair is like flames of the fire their eyes just like the red iron balls they have many kinds of weapons in the in the hand and the three Jamadutas came and seeing this Jamadutas Ajamid was afraid Ajamid was thinking who can protect Tommy at this moment and he opened his eyes and he saw that nearby his, his last like his um, youngest son was there Narayan was playing nearby so his baby, then he's, he, he, he called his name. Narayan. So glory is the name. So
them who do the sinful activities. We have to chastise them, punish them, and take them towards Master Jam in Jamaluk, Jamaran. Jam in, with mind, body, and words. He did the sinful activity. That's why we had three Jamaluks who came to take him. So he went to take his soul. We came to take his soul. He's a very big sinner, Ajami. And Shastra explains. So we, we came to take his soul. No, no, no. Go behind. Go, step behind. Step behind. Go behind. Go behind. It's written like this. In the airport, when you go, in the airport. Like, don't go beyond this line. Don't come, you know. Like, for example, you're riding the car and you like a chakra if if you do wrong then this go on you why like which is like, so ajami is a very big uh, sinner so the vishnu does said said look did you speak the na name of narayan but he spoke the name of his son narayan vishnu does said if one person any What, what the Babajis are doing there? They are speaking Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, playing Maradanga. Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Krishna. What is like, what's the result of this? It's not, there is not any result for, not anything will come out of that. So somebody like, 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 um, like making fun of you because of this, like this, still the person is chanting holy names. This, this was Hela, and now Stoba. Stoba means like a no seed. Very mature and ripe and tasteful. And this parrot with his beak, he's touching the fruit. You know, if this is like a fruit is touched by a parrot when, it, when the fruit is in the tree, like the parrot like kisses the fruit, then the fruit becomes more tasteful. So how does this fruit come here? There's no seed, no skin, this fruit. And it's full of ros, 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 means juice, juice, juice. So ripe, and how did it come down? If you not... Bhagavatam is uh, eligible for everyone. Everyone is eligible for the Bhagavatam. It's like the ripened fruit, so you just radish it, you know? So beautiful. But the Nam, Holy Name is even in more. If you study the Bhagavatam, maybe you understand or not, if you study the Bhagavatam, so many very big slokas, so in Sanskrit, so many meanings. But Holy Names? Hari is Hari Nam. Very simple, you can speak. Hey Krishna. Hey Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama.
Take forcefully, Mahaprabhu is giving forcefully. This, this is the glory of Holy Name. Holy Name is like a medicine. Like if you take a medicine, your your disease will end. So Harinam is like this. Such a beautiful name. Sweet name. That's why we say Hare Hare. That's the Mahaprabhu's chanting sweet voice. So much glory of Holy Name. So Ajamil. Kapla did himself a talk, give the lesson to his mother. I'll tell the essence. Quickly, quickly. Your like, karma will be destroyed. And also, your desire for mukta will be destroyed. Desire for liberation. And this will take you to the Bhagavad Prem. For Sadhana Bhakti, and then Bhagavad Bhakti, and then you get the Prema Bhakti. Sorry, he said, first a desire for karma, but so then. Even for one moment, small moment, if you see it in from with Sadhu and listen from him, you can get all perfections. What is sovereignty? All perfection. So get the Bhagavad Prem, Prem, love for God. I think the lotus feet of Govinda. That's why. After that, after that moment, now the Jamadut has elapsed and the Vishnu Dutta has also disappeared. With attentive atten attention, listen with your ears. Listen to whom you should go to or not. Don't forget what I'm saying. If you forget, I will also chastise and punish you. 
If you go to Nehemiah and devotee of Lord, you, you'll be punished. And if you also don't bring these non devotees, also you'll be punished. The Jama has told the Jama I'll tell you one story. these foolish persons they say this thing. if one time if once you take the Hadinam from the Guru the Guru 100% guaranteed that you'll never you'll never go to Jamalok Bhagavan gave his word even 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 you, if you commit offense then then Bhagavan will like purify and then give you bring you back to his lotus feet in this loka there's so many evidence krishna says this there's always so much like like a, like like we should chant the names of like so much uh, you know like um, so you can count how many times in the recording you can see I'm speaking many stories but in the middle I'm like always like Harinam 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 because actually listen to Harikata means this you have the taste to chant holy names it's the meaning of listening to Harikata for one time you chant holy names you get the ruchi to holy names that's why but that's that, let's say okay let's do the box outside and let's collect, like you know call the people collect the people let's also like feed the prashad to the people like this and also let's do some nidhita means like kirtan of krishna das prabhu Miridanga, people dancing like this
Inside that person, when the time for you to be released from samsara comes, then you come for sadhu sangha. Not everybody comes for sadhu sangha. We try to get everyone, no? to call everyone. We try to call all the persons, but actually, it's the desire of the Lord. What can we do? Come, everyone. If you like or not, just sit down. One day you'll be you'll be sent to Jamaloka, and they, they will say where he was sitting. Oh, he was sitting in the Bhagavatam. Once. To, to grind the masala and using Takaji Seva. And that evil person that threw the stone in the sadhu, he lied, died. And then the Jamaradutas came and took him to Jamaharaj. Who is near Jamaharaj? Who? Chitragupta is the assistant of Jamaharaj. His name is also like this because the name is related to his job.
So, okay, well, how is this Swarga? No, I'm just saying how is Swarga look. Okay, so I want to go first there. Then Jamara said, okay, go take him for 24 minutes to Swarga look. And then the Jamadutas took him, like very, like, insulting him. Go, 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 like this.